Hello, and welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Pastor Steve Lehan. All of us get invitations all the time. Some of them are addressed to resident. They invite us to a dinner where we'll hear about the latest and greatest Medicare supplement insurance or an investment strategy. Those invitations are entirely forgettable and tossable. Other invitations, however, that are addressed with our name and embossed letters inviting us to a gala event or fancy wedding are certainly noteworthy. They make us feel honored and special. They deserve a thoughtful response. But have you ever noticed how many invitations God extends? You can hardly read about God anywhere in the Bible without finding him issuing an invitation. Max Lucado writes about them in his book, And the Angels Were Silent. He invited Mary, he invited Eve to marry Adam, the animals to enter the ark, David to be king, Israel to leave bondage, Nehemiah to rebuild Jerusalem. He invited Mary to birth his son, the disciples to fish for men, the adulterous woman to start over, and Thomas to touch his wounds. God is the king who prepares the palace, sets the table, and invites his subjects to come in. In fact, it seems one of God's favorite words is come. Listen to how often that word occurs, like these two passages from Isaiah. Come now, let us settle the matter. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Or come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. Or listen to these from the Gospels. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to the wedding banquet. Come to follow me, and I will send you out to fish for people. Let everyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. God is a God who invites. God is a God who calls. God is a God who opens the door and waves his hands, pointing pilgrims to a full table. His invitation is not just for a meal, however, it's for life. An invitation to come into his kingdom and take up residence in a tearless, graveless, painless world. God's invitation is extended every moment of every day, and it's extended to every living soul, no matter who we are, what we've done. Today, I feel like our Father's invitation is inviting us to be the children we are, and to crawl up in his lap and let him wrap his arms around us. Will you accept that invitation? We need that embrace today. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, just help us today to be the children that we are, to kind of lay down uh, our fears and anxieties and our adult reservations and just kind of run into your arms and crawl up into your lap and let you embrace us and love on us. And let us feel the joy that comes from being loved and being embraced. We pray it for the sake of your son, Jesus. Amen. Thanks for sharing these help-filled moments, my friends. Have a blessed day as you remember that you are loved and you are never alone.